with Teaching Heroes. My name is Teacher Amy and today we are going to be discussing teaching level 3 classes. In this video we are going to watch some level 3 class clips and we are also going to discuss teaching level 3 students. At Magic Ears we have three goals for level 3 students. The first one is to do well on exams. The second one is to learn effectively and the third is to have fun. For level 3 students, there are two objectives. Listening comprehension. Students should be able to understand simple questions and statements. Spoken production. Students should be able to ask and answer questions. Welcome to Magic Ears. Hello. My name is Teacher Amy. The purpose of the warm-up and greeting is for students to exchange greetings with one another and say hello in various ways. If time permits, I drag up all four students into the Brady Bunch mode so that we can all say hello together one more time. But make sure not to go past two minutes for this portion of the lesson. Have students predict learning content by having them look at the picture and look at the title of the lesson. Make sure to use lots of TPR and have the students circle the pictures that are related to the topic. Okay, let's get started. Hmm, what is he doing? TV. Yes, he is watching TV. He is watching TV. Yes, very good. What is he doing? Hmm. What is he doing? Hmm. Is he reading a book? Yes, he is reading a book. Very good. Excellent. Can you circle watching TV? Watching TV? Circle watching TV. Yes, very good class. Can you circle reading a book? Circle reading a book. Words and phrases. The objective is for the students to learn the meaning of the words or phrases. Make sure that you are asking them extension questions. Oh, oh. what is that? Hmm. Hmm. That is noon. Everyone, noon. can you say noon? noon? Noon. Yes, look. Oh, everyone. Noon is noon. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Yes, very good. Noon is 12 o'clock. Excellent work, class. Very good. Hmm. What do you do at noon? Excellent. Yes. What do you do at noon? I eat lunch at noon. Suta, what do you do at noon? Eat noodles. Oh, yum. You eat noodles at noon. Very good, Suta. Katrina, what do you do at noon? I eat food. You eat food at noon. Good job, Katrina. Excellent work, class. Okay, let's practice. Gary, noon. Noon. Yes, n, ooh, noon. Noon. Yes, good job, Gary. Jackie, cupboard. Cupboard. Very good, Jackie. What is in your cupboard? Uh, uh, eggs, uh, and eggs and milk. And milk? Uh, and uh, and uh, pants. Pants. Very good. Good job, Jackie. What is that? It's, uh, it's look, salt. 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 Oh, my salt is open. <laughs> salt. Very good, class. Okay, here we go. Jackie, do you have salt in your cupboard? 
Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Say yes, I do. Yes, I do. Good job, Jackie. Ella, do you have salt in your cupboard? No. No? Say no, I don't. No, I don't. Good job, Ella. Richard Lee, salt. Do you have salt in your cupboard? No. I no, no, I don't. Good job, Richard Lee. Albin, salt. Salt. Yeah, do you have salt in your cupboard? No, I don't. No, I don't. Good job, Alvin. Very good class. What can you do with salt? Hmm. What can you do with salt? Where do you put salt? Do you put salt on your hand? No. No? Do you put no. salt on your food? Yeah. Yes. yes, yes, we put salt on our food. Very good, class. Bush, pack. Very good. Bush, what do you pack in your bag? I actually pack my book to school. Oh, yes, your school book. Very good. Good job, Bush. Excellent. Cell phone. Cell phone. Great job, class. What's in Tim's hand? What's in Tim's hand? Yes, very good. What's in Tim's hand? A cell phone. Yes, it's a cell phone. Excellent work, class. The word game portion of the lesson is used to help reinforce the student's ability to identify, say, and spell the key words. Hmm, can you guess the word? What's the word? Hmm, it starts with a P. Yes, very good. What's the next letter? P. Hmm, can you circle the next letter? Circle the next letter. Let's see. P. A. Yes, very good. P. A. What's the next letter? C, very good. And then K. K, very good. Pack. Pack. Hmm, we haven't done this one. What is this word? Hmm. It keeps things cold. It keeps things cold. Fri. Fri. Hmm. F R I. F R B B S. A fridge. It's called a fridge. Fridge. Yes, it keeps things cold. I put milk in my fridge. Let's spell fridge. Ready? F F R R I I D E G E. 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 Fridge. 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 Yes, very good. Do you have a fridge at your house? Do you have a fridge? Yeah. Do you put milk in your fridge? Okay, here we go, class. Let's keep learning. Look, this is a fridge. Do you have a fridge at your house? Yes. 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 Good. Very good, class. During the sentence game portion of the lesson, give the students time to answer the questions as they unscramble the sentences and ask and answer questions. Okay, let's make a sentence. Hmm, can you make a sentence? What does this say? What? Uh huh. Are you going? to do tomorrow. Yes, can everyone read this? What are you going to do tomorrow? Yes, mm, what are you going to do tomorrow? Very good. Oh, hmm. Can you make a sentence, Stephen, Bush, and Ben? Yes, very good class. Excellent work. Wow.
Okay, let's read the sentence. I'm going to leave for Beijing. Yes, I am going to leave for Beijing. Okay, can you make a sentence? Let's make a sentence. Hmm, what's the one? What's the first one? There, there are some two. Yes, very good. Sure. There are some beans. There are some beans. Yes, excellent work, class. Very good. During Let's Play and Let's Talk, students should be able to produce key sentences and key words. Students should also be able to recall the texts with hints. Okay, let's talk. Alden, can you ask? Is there any salt in the cupboard? Very good, Alvin. Excellent. Jackie, can you answer? Yes, yeah, there is salt uh, in the cupboard. Yes, very good. Jackie and Alvin, excellent work. Okay, here we go. Ella, can you ask? Are they? Are there? Are there? Any? any potatoes? Tomatoes? Tomatoes in the cupboard. Yes, very good. Are there any tomatoes in the cupboard? Richard Lee, answer. Yes. There are some tomatoes. Yeah, yes. There are some tomatoes in the cupboard. Yes, very good, Richard Lee. Excellent work, class. Okay, here we go. Jackie, ask. Are there any eggs in the cupboard? Oh, very good, Jackie. Excellent. Okay, Alvin, answer. Yes, there are some eggs in the cupboard. Very good. There are some eggs in the cupboard. Great job, Alvin. Okay, here we go. One more time. Richard Lee, ask. Are there any for there? Here. Beans. Beans. Uh -huh. in, the, in the cupboard. Yes, in the cupboard. Good job, Richard Lee. Excellent. Ella, answer. Yes. They are some beans. In the cupboard. In the cupboard. Great job, class. Excellent work. You all get another trophy. Perfect. Excellent work. Extension is so important for level three students. It helps them to apply key sentence patterns or learn topic related vocabulary. Okay, class. Hmm. What's next to the eggs in the cupboard? What's next to the eggs What's in the cupboard? What's uh, next to the egg? egg? The What's that? The salt is next to the eggs. Very good. What else is in the cupboard? What else is there in the cupboard? Hmm. What's What's that? Beans. 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 What are those? Beans. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, I'm going to pack some winter clothes and some snacks. We are going to pack some winter clothes and some snacks. Yes, very good. I am going to pack some winter clothes and some snacks. Bush, what kind of snacks do you like? I like potato chips. Oh, you like potato chips. Me too. Very good. Okay, Bush. here we go. Elsa. Ask. How much 
is each. How much is each? Yes, each pair. Each pair. Very good speaking, Elsa. Very good. Grace, answer. It's three pounds. Four. For one pair. Yes, it's three pounds for one pair. Good speaking, Grace. Very good. The review page helps the students to review the key sentences, key words, and key phrases. Make sure to have the students say the words first. Parents, very good class. You did a great job today. Okay, let's review. Pack, yes, excellent. Bag. Bag. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone, yes. What about this? Can you read this? What? Yes. Going to do tomorrow. Excellent. Leave for Beijing. We are going yes. to leave for Beijing. Yes, we are going. I always personally drag every student up individually and say goodbye to them at the end of the lesson. It's a great way to end on a positive note. Goodbye, everyone. See you Bye. next time. Bye-bye. I hope you have found this video helpful for teaching level three students. Happy teaching.